One of the big differences between PHP and JavaScript, and HTML for that matter, is that PHP is run on the server, while HTML and JavaScript code is executed by your browser. When I create a website, I upload HTML files to a web server. When you enter a web address, youtube.com for example, your browser requests the HTML file from the server. Once you download the HTML file, your browser runs through each line of code, interpreting it and then displaying the site. This is all done by your computer. All you do is download a file from a server, and your browser interprets it. With PHP, the code is executed on the server before the page is delivered to your browser. This will all make more sense later, but for now, you just need to understand that PHP code is executed before it is sent to your browser. So when we're developing code, the problem is we need a testing server. Instead of paying for hosting just to develop a site and uploading files every time you need to test them, you can use your computer as a local server. There are several different packages that let you do this depending on what operating system you're using. But we'll be looking at WAMP Server today. WAMP Server is a free suite of programs that allows your computer to act as a local server. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Earlier, we discussed how PHP is a server-side scripting language. WAMP Server simulates this client-browser interaction on your computer. It will allow you to use your computer as an Apache server running PHP along with MySQL. We'll look into MySQL later, but first we need to get an understanding of PHP. All you need to do is download the latest version of WAMP Server from www.wampserver.com. Double-click the installation file and follow the instructions along the way. Once the installation is completed, the services should begin starting up. From here, you can start or stop all services. You'll need to make sure that the services are running before you can access the files on the server. So, make sure the services are running and click on Local Host. This will open a page in your default browser that will display all of your server information, links, and any MySQL databases you have set up. If you click on PHP Info, you'll be taken to this page. If you see this page, you installed and set up WAMP Server correctly, and you're good to go. Once you have WAMP installed, and all of the services are up and running, go to your C drive and double-click the WAMP64 folder. Don't worry about all of this stuff. It's not important now, except for this folder, www. Inside this folder is your simulated server. Place any PHP files in here. Remember, a PHP file is just like an HTML file, except renamed to PHP. I've got a test page I made here called test.php. If this page is run, it will display the text, it works. To run a PHP page on WAMP server, go to your browser and navigate to localhost slash test.php. Once the page loads, I get the text, it works. You can place folders inside this www folder, mimicking the structure of an actual website. For example, if I make a folder called mysite.com, and place the test.php file inside of it. In the web browser, I go to localhost slash mysite.com slash test.php and it loads the page. That covers how to get WAMP server up and running and how to view a PHP page that you've created. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.